learners previously we discussed about writing and now i will give you some suggestions for good handwriting what is good handwriting how it helps a person to become better writer these all things will be explained in this presentation the men who invented and perfected writing were great linguists and it was they who created linguistics mille said this writing has been with us for several thousand years and nowadays is more important than ever having spread steadily over the centuries from clay tablets to computer chips it is poised for further dramatic advances although hundreds of millions of people are still unable to read and write humanity relies on writing to an unprecedented extent it is quite possible that today more communication takes place in the written than in the oral mode there is no objective measure but if there were any doubts the internet explosion has laid to rest the idea that for the human race at large writing is only a minor form of communication writing not only offers ways of reclaiming the past but is a critical skill for shaping the future matthew said handwriting is really brain writing and you can't fool your brain no matter how hard you try in present scenario it has been seen that people say now we have computers why worry about handwriting but the initial learning academic success and overall student confidence is directly related to handwriting scientific tests conducted have reestablished the role of handwriting in activating a large section of brain hands have unique relationship with the brain when it comes to compositing thoughts and ideas writing also provides a means to practice hand eye coordination and fine motor skills and some experts even suggest a link between handwriting and learning ability writing has science involved in it experts call handwriting as brain writing when you think of writing something the process starts your brain forms shapes that is letters then letters are added to make words then words form sentences with the help of brain brain gives instruction to hand and hand picks a pen and you write and writing is the mirror of the state of the mind of the writer and the personality and writing is a language by hand basically now we will discuss about characteristics of good handwriting first one is legibility and writing should be legible and easy to read illegible handwriting creates a very bad impression on the readers bell says illegible handwriting in a young man or woman is a sign of untidy and careless mind handwriting should be written in a bold and simple manner extra strokes and curves should be avoided then comes distinctiveness it means each letter should have a characteristic form of its own it should be clearly and carefully written the letters should not be distorted and overlap the beginners should not be encouraged to write code words like ant they should write each letter distinctively this adds beauty to handwriting next is spacing spacing in writing is an important feature the letter in a word the word in a line and the lines in a page should not be crowded too closely together a harmonious spacing of letters words and lines is necessary next is simplicity letters should be simple bold and free from all extravagant strokes and flourishes a simple handwriting in which letters have no unnecessary parts tails or loops is always easy to read then comes size the size of words should be proper and moderate it should not be neither too long nor too small the letters should have due proportion to one another then comes letter style there can be three different type of styles of letters first one is slanting towards the left vertical slanting towards the right 
it is generally noted that boys adopt the third style whereas the girls adopt the first style and the second style is common among both teacher can guide the students not to mix up the styles as it will give a shabby look to writing so vertical style is preferable then uniformity there should be uniformity in handwriting one may select any style of writing but it should be uniform in size spacing and alignment now we will discuss about speed good handwriting also requires a genuine and responsible speed while writing one should not feel labored or burdened regarding speed fresby opines the writing should not be labored but done at a reasonable speed in the beginning the students may write slowly but gradually they should develop the habit of writing at a reasonable speed adjustment between writing and thinking this is another characteristic of good handwriting it implies that there should be no omission of words and phrases due to quick thinking in fast writing writing is a difficult art which needs practice as well as great attention french also suggested that training in writing should begin with training in muscular control through fairly large movement using fingers in tray of sand or chalk or brown paper the movement should include drawing of lines of various lengths and direction half circles strokes etc then comes elements of good handwriting now we will discuss about which are the elements of a good handwriting the composition of good handwriting is not at all complex basically good handwriting gives two main impressions first is what its appearance tells and second is what it takes to form that appearance good handwriting is like a beauty it catches you as soon as you experience its influence finally the goal of handwriting is to communicate well if you are not with it you stay uncommunicative we can divide the elements of good handwriting under two sections overall appearance and formation of overall appearance now we will discuss about overall appearance it's the feeling which a particular handwriting gives you can take it the domain of both a writer and a reader if you can't write well the others can't read what you have written we all are writers come readers so it is very important for us to consider both the perspectives while writing if the handwriting settles easily and effectively in the flow of a writer as well as in the mind of a reader it is good now we will discuss about distinguished characteristics of overall handwriting appearance first one is fluency is your handwriting capable enough to express itself with hesitation if it is you are good with it good handwriting always gives you a constant flow whether you are writing or reading the flow misses its naturalness if it stops you for a while because it is not written or readable in the manner in which you have started with take an example of a ladder uneven steps will not let you climb it easily it would give you a very odd feeling then comes readability readability is the quality of handwriting that makes it easy to read and understand it is the foremost requirement among all its characteristics no readability no understanding what you have written is just a waste it doesn't come without accuracy and that should be there in every part of handwritten text handwriting legibility stems out of a clear and clean relationship between letters situation oriented basically this characteristic reflects the personality of the writer think about a reader when you write for example a person's daughter is studying in the 5th grade and he is away from home and wants to send a letter to wish her good luck for her examination the letter can't work out if it is it has the same tone which one uses in the business life one has to write it according to the reader and the occasion it doesn't mean that he needs to change his handwriting he only needs to tune it to the situation 
than interest if the writing is made under compulsion it can be easily noticed good handwriting shows presence of one's interest in the subject if a person writes in a hurry and not interested in something will miss that flavor of penmanship write something and give it to a reader definitely the reader can make out the concern for it remember he could be equally uninterested in it but gets interested by the power of one's writing you start always matches your end if you write with equal interest all the time writing is an inherent ability also good handwriting constantly looks like an inherent ability it doesn't matter how much one has practiced for it important is that it should look very natural one can't always pay special attention to make the handwriting good if it is good it is forever when it is like that one is always naturally fast in reading and writing and it becomes integral part of one's personality next characteristic is pleasing experience good handwriting is a pleasure inducer a person enjoys it throughout its course whether he or she is writing or reading this is what the essence of handwriting is it works like leisure where one doesn't get chance to feel tired easily this is one of the finest facties of handwriting in the situation when your mind doesn't support you it motivates your mind to write more as your hand still wants to move on coordination between senses and mind you always feel displeased when your senses and mind behave differently and when they take their own routes that reduces the concentration and one fails to enjoy the subject on which one is working on after all how could a person concentrate when his or her senses acknowledge one thing and the mind thinks about the other good handwriting always establishes balance between the senses and the mind your senses follow your mind because it holds that liking to understand the need of your senses handwriting can't catch your mind unless your senses are caught first it is good when it makes senses and mind work together next is first impression a glance is enough to notice good handwriting after that glance you start reading when we look at it we move rapidly from one part to another this is a decisive factor for our liking or disliking if the first impression is positive your handwriting is appealing it has no second or last impression handwriting attracts impression only once if the first impression speaks favorably for you your handwriting is good next characteristic is self reliant when this is the case one doesn't take initiative for little things on the other hand if a person is good with his or her handwriting doesn't have to wait for anyone one can write what when and how one wants sometimes we need someone to work on our behalf the reason could be many but the most prominent one is that the person is not confident about his or her propensity for that work handwriting is no different from this fact next characteristic is of overall appearance physical comfort good handwriting is always delight for hand as well as eyes delight for hand because primarily it makes one write for eyes one reads because of them if eyes are not comfortable the handwriting lacks that quality of being good they are not only the parts used for writing but the whole body some way helps in writing good handwriting comes of a relaxed state of the body it doesn't demand any special effort or attention then formation of overall appearance formation of overall appearance exist when you work on handwriting basics this section gives you significant information about them and how they work in combination
some of the basic terms and techniques that you need to understand and practice for handwriting are given here. You may refer to the figures in the next few pages for better understanding. First is capital letter. Capital letter means the larger version of any letter. Small letter, the smaller version of any letter. Stem, the main vertical stroke in a letter. Arc. A part of a small letter that emerges out of its stem. Ascender, the stroke of a small letter that goes up from the mean line. Descender, the lower part of a small letter that goes below the baseline. Bowl, it is curved path with both the ends merge in a stem of a letter. Then lines of writing, ascender line capital line, mean line, baseline and descender line. Then comes flourish. It is an additional stroke that you give to adorn a letter. Then comes cross stroke, a horizontal stroke which you see touching the stem. Then comes search, a small pen stroke at the beginning or at the end of a stroke like a hairline of or a hook. Slant. The angle that stem makes on its right or left side. Body, the main part of a letter between mean line and base line. Loop, loop means the doors shape which is either formed while finishing the letter or beginning it. Space, the gap between letters, words or lines of writing. Now we will discuss about ratio of ascender and descender. Ascender and descender are very important to give any letter the right symmetry. Too short and too long turn out to be a barrier to reading and writing. Take an example of too short ascender. It can make D giving impression of A and H resembling N. In case it is excessive long, upper and lower lines appear cluttered. That obstructs you reading it comfortably. Check the gaps between letters. If the gaps are uneven, they make a word look split. They don't let the word appear one what. In case they are too far from each other, they give the impression of being rambling and lacking coherence. Then spacing between words. More or less space between words than the usual gives the line's awkward appearance. Reading them is not an easy task. Right space between words is one that can fit letter O in it. The space should be restricted to its dimension throughout writing although we can take little more space after punctuation particularly in case of a full stop. Now spacing between lines means less space between lines gives them characteristic of ascender hanging to descender. When the space is more it seems you are writing for poster. Slant or no slant. Any slant can work. No matter it is left or right. If your writing has rhythm then no slant can also work. Whatever slant you opt for your handwriting you should always stick to it. The most appropriate slant is towards right because of a simple reason that we write from left to right. So the slant should move forward. The backward slant hampers pace of writing. The best slant is something between 5 to 10 degrees. X-shaped letters. We write in italics mostly. It is easy to form letters in italics. As a little slope while moving, forward helps us write fast. Making straight oval is not effortless. It's a kind of inconvenience for writing flow. Better is we should bring elliptical shape in practice. Genre of letters. Make your letters identical in their origin. That comes when you maintain the same slant, size, curve, shape, spacing etc. Handwriting is not an experiment that you can change it for every letter unless you are practicing the making of letters. Take an example. In a group of Indians, if there is one American, a glance is sufficient to distinguish him in the group. Then texture of text, heavy, uneven or light text is not easy to read. So quality of text, 
that you write is very important. It is very important in making your writing readable. Sometimes dense writing texture is preferred for its attractiveness, but it should not be so dense that you start feeling it an obstruction. A combination of heavy, uneven and light words always make a textbook distorted or it can give the impression that your writing instrument was overflowing with writing. Dots and cross strokes. Dots are needed for the letter like I and J. Letters like F and T need cross strokes. The dot should be placed exactly over the stem while the stroke needs to cross the stem maintaining clarity of its existence. You can't ignore and position them inaccurately. If you do that, you would only make your writing difficult enough to be read. Join when it comes naturally. You can write a word in two different ways. One way is that you can connect the letters in a word. The other way is you leave them unconnected. We join the letters because we want to maintain the speed. Writing in which letters are not connected is more heartfelt. It gives better clarity and appearance. When you don't join a letter, its beginning and finish have nothing to do with the other letters. Now, letter size. The size of a letter should not block the way of writing and reading flow. If it is too small, it is an obstruction for reading. In case it is too big, it looks awkward and takes unnecessary space of the page. Now. You want to know what is the right size of a letter? Well, one that has about 3 millimeter height in appropriate for convenient writing and reading. With this size, you can write 10 words in a line. Then comes alignment. Initially without lines, words can slip out of alignment. The time you develop sense for different lines of writing, you start writing in a straight line or in correct relative positions. So understand what the line mean for a straight flow. Then comes layout. How good you write doesn't give fine impression unless you put it right. Take care about the margins. They shouldn't be uneven and insufficient. Margins are not just vacant space on a paper, but they are more to protect text from being appeared in such a way that it gets unnoticed. If margins are not proper, text looks either scattered or cluttered. The space around the house and its boundary makes it a perfect place to live. Layout is that for any text. Formation of letter. Correct formation of letter is essential for readability and speed of writing. In fact, it is the most important of all writing requirements. One letter can be formed in different ways or we can say every hand is different for a same letter. Letter formation has many stages. It begins with initiating the stroke, then moving it up or down, after that merging it into the stem, next is giving it a joining hook. Variations are there in forming the same letter with these moves, but the basic flow and direction is generally common for a particular letter. Why teach handwriting? The reason is that students need a legible, fluent style of handwriting to fully participate in writing. Handwriting fluency predicts how much and how well children write. Attention to motor skills strains students processing capacity that could be used for higher order skills, keeping up with own thoughts, planning, content, generation, revisions, etc. Over time children may minimize other writing process, avoid writing or believe they cannot write. Handwriting accounts for how writing is evaluated. Note taking and adult use are still necessary. Many problems can be prevented by early training. Young children in kindergarten and early grades should learn to form letters correctively. 
Kinesthetic memory is powerful and incorrect habits are very difficult to eradicate. Now teaching approaches. Let's have a quick look. Direct instructions. Practice should be fun yet organized. Build a positive relationship with the child. Take it at a relaxed speed and adapt according to the child needs. Keep actual handwriting sessions short and sweet can be from 5 minutes to 20 minutes. Do live demonstration and encourage imitation. Teach directionality concepts, multi-sensory approach, consistency and repetition, supervision to develop good habits, opportunities for student, self-evaluation circle their own best letter. Now we will discuss about handwriting and personality. Some teachers believe that bad handwriting leads to defects in personality. Therefore, they often put children to the boring task of writing letters neatly over and over again. Teachers need to understand that each activities intended for improving handwriting are difficult, tedious and completely unproductive. Improving handwriting doesn't bring about improvement in personality since handwriting doesn't influence personality. Efforts to improve personality are likely to result in making children disinterested in writing. The focus should be on activities which make writing meaningful and therefore an interesting activity. Remember, your handwriting is unique to you. It is part of your personality. Make it your own. Thanks.